Darla Z. My passion for music has allowed me to star in three public television specials. I'm a singer and a songwriter, and I've worked with legends such as Wayne Newton, Willie Nelson, and the Gap Band. I've performed all over America, including many appearances in Las Vegas. Another passion of mine is healthy cooking, and in this series, I'll share some of my favorite keto-friendly recipes. I really hope you enjoy them. Hi, Darla Z here, and we're gonna have a fabulous night filled with steakhouse cuisine. We are going to have porterhouse steak, seasoned to perfection, and we're gonna have wedge salad. It's a wedge like a little triangle with some blue cheese on top of it, and sliced onion and tomato. And then we're gonna have some hollandaise sauce that we can dip our lovely steak in. You're gonna just love it. You're gonna think you're at the greatest steakhouse in the world and it's gonna be in your own home. So stay tuned. This is a nice looking head of lettuce. And with what I look for in getting a head of lettuce is two things. I make sure that it is heavy and dense, hard. Try not to find anything that doesn't have any brown on the ribs there. And I sit there and I'll stare at all the lettuce heads until I find the perfect one that's heavy and firm. I'm gonna slice it down the middle, just in half, except for I'm gonna miss the core. Okay, so here we have almost half. I'm just gonna make a, a wedge like this. Isn't that pretty? I have a handy salad spinner. You can get these anywhere. You wash it and then you dry it. The trick is, since we've got a head of lettuce that we want to keep intact, if you spin it too hard, it will um, fall apart and it won't stay in a wedge. I rinse it off and then I very gently put it in my salad spinner, and then spin it. I don't spin it very hard. It's not like I would a regular salad. It's very gentle, because I'm trying to keep it intact. Once that's finished, and it's rinsed off good, I put it on a plate on a clean washcloth or towel. That way it drips on it, and then I would just put it in the refrigerator like this and get it chilled. So that's where I'm going, to the refrigerator over there. Onto the salad dressing. So here we got a big old wedge of, of blue cheese and I'm gonna put about that much in. This is salad dressing that will be enough for four people. That is if my husband didn't sit there and eat it all night long because that's what he does with it. Then I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of jalapeno cream cheese. You can use regular cream cheese if you don't want it spicy. But I happen to like it spicy. If you watch my shows, you know that. And then about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic. And the thing is with the garlic, you don't even have to puree it. You do have to smash it first. And then you peel it. And then I put two whole cloves in there. And then I whirl it all together with my handy dandy ninja. And it's, it's just, it just makes it perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Okay, you know what this is? The handy dandy smasher azure. You know what, I should invent one of these things. I should make a handy dandy smasher asher because this thing is cool. I'm going to do this to my garlic. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, here I am back. And now I'm gonna just take off the peeling. Um, I can also add to this dressing a little bit of parsley, the fresh parsley which would be good, or if you wanna add cilantro or any kind of fresh herb. To me, you gotta go kind of mild, which would be, the best thing would be some parsley. So I just add just a few sprigs of it. Salt and pepper, a dash of my hot, spicy olive oil, but if you wanna add cayenne or if you want to add um, Tabasco, you can do that. I gotta add some pepper. And I like a lot of pepper. So that's the dressing. Now I could, if it's a little thick, just add some water. And you're gonna love this dressing. It's perfect for your wedge salad. Yay. 
writes, what is your favorite keto-friendly snack? I would say I love a little bit of sliced cheese and some olives that are seasoned with olive oil and fresh herbs or herb de province. And I'll need a little bit of cheese and that, and then throw in a almond, salted almond. It's pretty darn good. Mary C wants to know, do you have a day or a dinner or a lunch occasionally where you don't follow keto and you eat bread or potato? I never eat potato, but bread is a weakness of mine. And there is an occasion that I will have, I mean, I gotta have an onion burger. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, and I make one humdinger of an onion beer. Burger! And if I happen to later on, get the nerve to do a burger unketo friendly show i will do it because i can make the best onion burger in the world what's your favorite kind of restaurant to go to when you're going out to dinner or lunch well you know the steakhouse like we're we're doing tonight I, that's one of my favorite meals and this is exactly what i would have when i would go to a restaurant and have a porterhouse and share it with my husband or i would have a filet and then I would have the blue cheese salad dressing with the wed lettuce wedge and the sliced onions and tomato. That's one of my favorites. And then I love French food, but uh, French food is kind of got a lot of sauces and stuff, but I don't know. So either one, steak or French. Jimmy B wants to know, he said he saw your photo with Frank Sinatra. So he's got two questions. First, he said, what was it like to meet Frank Sinatra? And second, he asks, how in the world did you end up getting a picture with Frank Sinatra, who everyone knows hated to have his picture taken? Um, you're gonna have to start over because I don't remember the first question. <laughs> the first question was, subscriber Jimmy B wants to know what it was like to meet Frank Sinatra. I was so nervous when I had the picture taken with him, which I guess is part of the second question, that my lips shook when I had the picture taken. I've never, didn't even know your lips shook when you took a picture, but it was really cool because he was such a gentleman and such a class act and and he was, he was so neat that um, it was awe inspiring to meet such a legend and had one of the greatest moments of my life besides when I got married. <laughs> And the second part of Jimmy B's question. Good, I'm question, glad you broke it down because I need to, you know, one then the other. <laughs> how in the world did you get your picture taken with Frank? My husband and I produced Frank Sinatra in concert in multiple places throughout the United States. And I was off chatting with some friend of mine and my husband came and ran and got me and he said, you've got to come. Frank Sinatra is waiting to take a picture with you and I told him to wait and I had to go get my wife. And so there I was, I said, see ya to the girl. And I went running off and went running in and there was Frank waiting to take a picture with us. And I can't believe it, but he did and, and it was great. And last question, JC wants to know, what is your all time favorite movie? Lawrence of Arabia. That's it. David Lean, he, he produced an epic that is filled with incredible shots and gorgeous music. And it's, it's my favorite. But I love Ben Hur. Thank you, Darla Z. And oh, please, <laughs> please subscribe, share, like, and comment. We appreciate all your support for the channel. Here's a little trivia for you. 1837, the first fine steakhouse in America, and it was Delmonico Steakhouse. 1837, I bet you they served the steak with the blue cheese dressing, because it's a classic. They invented Eggs Benedict. Now, take that to the bank. I'm gonna tell you a secret of the great chefs that they don't want you to know. And that is, with your herbs, what you should do rather than chopping them is you slice them to retain the flavor. A little trick I learned. I'll be singing tonight a song that I wrote. Uh, it's called Why'd You Go? 
I performed this song when I opened for Willie Nelson. It was the first song that I ever performed live in front of a huge audience. And the way that I got on the Willie Nelson show is I was in a restaurant and I stood up and sang this song and the producer heard the song and he said, do you want to open for Willie Nelson? So that was how it happened and I hope you like it. It's a country song and it's perfect for a steakhouse dinner. I'd steal songs from a songbird if the music made you sad. Color dunes in the desert to give you all that I had. I'd chase a rainbow from you if I could feel your sweet gifts. Capture a fallen raindrop to share a moment of bliss. I gotta know, why'd you go? Why'd you tell me those lies? Can't you see, you need me And the world that we shared I gotta know, why'd you go? Why'd you tell me you cared? Smear the clouds across heaven just to capture your size. I'd strip the oceans of waves to spend my lifetime with you. Take the stars from the skies to make your wishes come true. But you left and I cried my heart's torn. I gotta know, why'd you go? Why'd you tell me those lies? Can't you see, you need me And the world that we shared I gotta know, why'd you go? Why'd you tell me you care? food and I love these recipes I gave you tonight. I really want to thank you very much for watching this show. I ask you please to like, share, and subscribe because it helps support the channel. And then also I love your viewer comments. I so appreciate your questions that you've been sending in to ask me and I, I love that. So please keep sending them and Thank you again for everything and 
Sign out. I'll see you soon. Cut. I gotta know why'd you go? Why'd you tell me?